so we've been running around this monkey island looking for monkeys to fight. Um, and we've been making lovely little charts, which you saw in the last episode, um, to determine what beats what. So, so I went I see and asked you're Jojo in the if arts I could of fight him. He combat. said, you're not ready yet. So we're, we've been fighting, trying to get On guard, monkey. up to snuff, as it were. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, so we're starting in Gimpy Gibbon. He's going to go to something that'll beat it, which will probably be charging. No, but Babbing Baboon. Oh, do I get to start? That's new. Okay, so Gimpy Gibbon is beaten by Charging Chimp and Bobbing Baboon. So to get from Gimpy Gibbon to Bobbing Baboon, it's Ock Oop Chi. So Ock ah, Oop, Oop Chi. I usually don't get to start. Usually they start, which puts me at a disadvantage because if we both match each other perfectly, they win. So he's going to go to Charging Chimp, which will defeat Bobbing Baboon. Ow. Ow. Uh, Charging Chimp is defeated by Drunking Monkey and Anxious Ape. So let's go to Anxious Ape from Bobbing Baboon, which is Ock Oop Eek. Ock ah, Oop Eek. Eek. Get him. All right. He's going to go to something that'll defeat me. Bobbing Baboon. No, actually, he is not smart enough to do that. Okay. So... Interestingly enough, you can maintain your current pose by doing eek, the same eek, thing eek. three times, and you can just double down. Um, I learned that from the monkeys. Ah, so he's going to go to Drunken Monkey, which Ooh. defeats Anxious Ape. But Drunken Monkey is defeated by Bobbing Baboon and Gimping Gibbon, so let's go to Bobbing Baboon from Anxious Ape, which is Ock Oop Eek. Ock ah, Oop Eek. Yeet him. I think I'm going to win this one. Done a lot of losing. <laughs> He's going to go to Bobbing Baboon. Oh, okay. So he loses again. All right, so Gimpy Gibbon is beaten by Charging Chimp and Bobbing Baboon. So to go to... Oh, wait, I'm in Bobbing Baboon. Herp. Eek, eek, eek. We'll just stay here. That. <laughs> Ow. Sorry, so Anxious Ape is defeated by Drunken Monkey and Gimpy Gibbon. So from Bobbing Baboon to Gimpy Gibbon is Ock Oop Chi. Ock Oop Chi. Get him. Ock Oop Yo! Okay, so Bobbing Baboon is beaten by Charging Chimp and Anxious Ape. So get to Gimpy Gibbon to Anxious Ape. It's Chi Eek Oop. Eek. Oop. There we go. Let's do your little dance, Guybrush. Do the moonwalk. And then the Michael Jackson thing. All right. I think I might be ready to take on JoJo Jr. I will take your word on that. Because <clears throat> actually he does kind of a similar um, thing when he's doing sword fighter. You're good enough to fight the sword master in the first one. So let's go talk to Jojo, Jr. Hello again, Monkey Prince. Greetings, unenlightened one. Oh, how condescending. Let's go ahead and challenge him. I monkey challenge combat. you to monkey combat. I can see you've been training. Perhaps you are ready to fulfill Reveal the, the prophecies. prophecies. Eh, prophecies, schmophecies. <laughs> are we going to fight or what? <laughs> Very well. Monkey combat! Dun, 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 dun. On guard, monkey. You are indeed ready to fight me. Okay, so he's going from to Bobbing Baboon. Bobbing Baboon is defeated by Charging Chimp and Anxious Ape. So to go from Gimpy Gibbon to Charging Chimp is Oop Ock Chi. Oop Ock Chi. What? Did I write that down wrong? Oop Ock Chi. Oh, I done, I done goofed. Yes, we know. Ow! Yes, I know, I hurt. I'll probably have to fight him twice, but that's because I messed up somewhere. Gimpy Gibbon to Charging Chimp's defeat is going to be Drunken Monkey or Anxious Ape. So Gimpy Gibbon to Anxious Ape is Chi Eek Oop. Chi Eek Oop. Wait. Eek Chi Oop! Yes, yes. Okay, Drunken Monkey is defeated by Bobbing Baboon and Gim Gimpy Gibbon. So let's go to Bobbing Baboon from Anxious Ape is Ock Oop Chi. No, I'm an Anxious Ape. 
Anxious Ape is Ock Oop Eek. Ock Oop Eek! Anxious Ape is defeated by Drunken Monkey and Gimpy Gibbons, so we're going from Bonnie Baboon to Drunken Monkey, which is Ak Chi Eek. Ak Chi Eek! I'm gonna make my C a little clearer on my chart. Alright. Ak Eek! Uh. Ow. I'm not gonna win this one, I'm gonna have to play him again. Bobbing Baboon is defeated by Charging Chimp and Anxious Ape. So from Drunken Monkey to Charging Chimp is Eek Chi Oop. Eek Chi Oop. Drunken Monkey is defeated by Bobbing Baboon and Gimpy Gibbons. So let's go to Bobbing Baboon from Charging Chimp. Ook Ak Chi. Oop Ak Chi. Ak Chi. Oop. Oi. I'm pretty sure I have to be like 100% perfect on this fight in order to, to win. Anxious Ape. Drunken Monkey and Gimpy Gibbons, so we're gonna go to Gimpy Gibbon from Bobbing Baboon, which is Ak Oop Chi. Ak Oop Chi. It's a very physical sport here. Alright, Charging Chimp is defeated by Drunken Monkey and Anxious Ape, so we're gonna go from Gimpy Gibbon to Anxious Ape for Chi Eek Oop. Chi Eek Oop. And he's probably gonna take me out in the next one. Eek Chi Oop. Almost, so close. Okay, one more. Drunken Monkey's defeated by. Bobbing Baboon and Gimpy Gibbon. So let's try Gimpy Gibbon this time. Which is ch Chi Eek Oop. Chi Eek Oop. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright, toss me on my tail. Ah, Chi Eek! Ow. And I lose. Oh, I still have a. I have still have a banana. Okay, I'm still in this game. Bobbing Baboon is Charging Chimp or Anxious Ape. So let's go to Charging Chimp from Gimpy Gibbon, which is Ak Eek Chi. Ak Eek Chi. <laughs> We're both down to one banana. Ooh, ah, chi. Which means he's probably going to take me out. Oh, it's a draw. Holy cow. I might actually win this first go. Alright, son, let's change positions. Oh, he gets a banana back. Oh, so if you draw them, you get health back. That's interesting. Well, Drunken Monkey is beaten by Babbing Baboon and Gimpy Gibbon, so let's go to Babbing Baboon from Drunken Monkey, which is Oop Ock Oop Ock Eek. Oop Ock Eek. Yes, I did it. So all these position or all the the combat is random. I so it's really randomized. I it. I had foreseen losing my crown eventually, but not to such an unlikely. That's opponent. me. The unlikely to the last. The yours, Guybrush, as well as the ceremonial bronze hat. All Please right. Please take good care of it. It is very special. It is. It is special to me because I get to make the ultimate insult. So what I was saying was, um, all the like the transition words, the Ak, Eek, Oop, Chi, are all randomized, as are who beats what, so uh, you have to kind of find out each game. You can't find the list online. That'll just... Uh, let's talk Ahoy to this guy. There, matey. Do I have anything? Can I get him? I don't think he'd like that. This hat doesn't really go with that. Okay. Oh, let me see if I can give him a banana. 
Banana? Do you want a banana? Is that more interesting than the accordion? Strange. This monkey seems more interested in his musical instrument than in bananas. And I, I guess he's it. really intent on starting that monkey band. That wouldn't go well with bananas. Still doesn't Strange. Work. This monkey seems hmm. more interested in his musical instrument than in bananas. Well, and I guess I he's do? really intent on starting that monkey band. That wouldn't go well with bananas. Ow, ow, ow. Didn't make you jealous? Uh, Alright, let's give him the milk bottle? You can blow on it? No. I guess okay. he's really intent on starting that monkey band. It's useless. Alright. Well, let's go back to the monkey head, because I'm pretty sure at this point I need to put the bronze hat on top of the monkey head. Oh, don't! I don't want to fight you, yo. I don't want to fight you, bro. Let's just keep on keeping on. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. That actually is something that got annoying in the first game, too, is you'd run into pirates, like, all the time trying to fight you. Let's see. Um, let's go put the bronze hat on the monkey head. Tink, 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 tink. Just throw it up there. It's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Whee! Wow. It's effectively a gigantic ultimate insult. Yep, that's what it is. Let me take the banana picker back. And see if I can use this with the accordion snatched out of this little monkey's hands. No, I don't want to fight you. Go away. <sighs> At least they have that quick exit so I don't have to sit here and, like, travel. Um, is this all that's in this village? Is there more in this village? Not really. Can I go up here? It's not so useful without a hard-to-reach object to pick up. I wonder if the new inhabitants realize this <laughs> hut was once owned by a human cannibal. Mm, Actually, I, I guess it. the monkeys don't really care. Maybe, you know what, I think I remember needing a pair of symbols, like a... Hmm. There's gotta be some way I can distract old musical monkey boy. Let's go see if Herman's got anything new to say. Do-do-do-do-do, going across the lava fields. Alright, trust the tree. And then we can go back here. Sim I, I think I, he wants symbols. Um, anything interesting, Herman? No? I still need that accordion, though, to get your memory back. Herman? Uh, Report? I need some help. Don't you always? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no. On second uh, thought, there. maybe I'll ask for your help later. Suits me! Alright, see you later, Herman. I still need to get that. See you later, Herman. To get oh! his memory back. Uh, let's see. Anything over here? It's just nothing. Alright. Let's go to the beach. <laughs> that giant boulder's still there. <laughs> ah, the sea. Giver of life. Destroyer of ships. Wow, I'm glad I didn't accidentally squish Timmy. I am too. That would have been awkward. I like Timmy. He was also needed for one of these puzzles. Um, what's up here? Look at I wonder how these rocks managed to get stacked this way. Nothing there. Literally can only come up here to look at this strange rock formation that makes no sense. Okay, that's that's fun. Well, what's the point? I don't get it. Alright, so let's go back down here. Can we go in here? Enter my chest. I'm not going into any cave that's hot and smells like burning rotten eggs. That's that's fair. That is that is fair, Guybrush. Okay. So let's go back and put this banana picker back on the monkey head. I wish I could just cross over without having to go in here, but I do. So nice lava, isn't it? No. Doesn't keep the monkeys away, though. Mm-hmm. Thank you for that unsolicited piece of information. Thank you. Thank you, guy, uh, Herman. I'm almost thinking I made him miss something in the... in the cathedral, maybe? Maybe they have a musical instrument I could borrow off of them? And by borrow, I mean steal? Oh, sorry, I have no respect for a church, church that venerates Lechuk. You know, unholy, undead terror. What's this? 
this? What is this? This looks interesting. Oh, word of LeChuck. Take one. Come on, Guybrush. Face the right way. Face the right way. I'm not picking that up. No way. I'd probably turn into a crazed undead zombie pirate even if I just looked at the picture. That's fair. Shields. Look what? at shields. Tiny shields. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. I figured it out. Battles. This is why I thought symbols. I am going to take the shields out of this skull's eyes and give them to the monkey. And he will give up his accordion because now he has symbols. And everyone knows I'm sure monkeys I'm glad love I got this banana picker. symbols. Yeah, I, I have gotten a lot of use out of this banana picker. I'm actually very happy. Alright, so now. Go back down to Monkey Island. Cross the lava field tediously. Alright, so. Go back to JoJo's village. It's not. I don't want to dive into that, no. Alright, so. Uh, forget you, monkey. I don't want to talk to you. Surprised it still lets you do monkey combat, because who wants to keep doing monkey combat? Alright. Let's go ahead and give this shield, I'm using air quotes here, to the musically inclined monkey. Hmm. Okay, so I have to use him. <laughs> oh, now he wants it. Give it. Give me them shields. Alright, so now I can get the accordion, which he threw down here and looks nothing like an accordion. Wow. up accordion yoink all right so now we go back to guy uh, herman on the beach i still have the accordion that's funny um let's get back here go back across the lava this is not tedious at all go up the bridge guybrush oh guybrush he needs some shoes i need to get him some shoes like, I know Castaway, like, the fashion chic for Castaways is to have no shoes, but seriously, need some shoes, brah. Go down here, thank you. Go talk to Hermit. No. Mm. Alright. Here to Herman. And let's throw an accordion at his face this time. <laughs> He's accordion to walk Herman to Herman? Brah. Where? Ow! Ouch! Uh. What in the name of hey? I just remembered where I left my Oh, pants. well, thank goodness That's, for that. That's, um, great, I guess. Uh, what about Ozymandro? Ozymandro? Never heard of him. <gasps> Wait! Now I remember! Oh, no! My track <laughs> panty line, this is horrible! Herman? Oh? Oh, yeah, that's me. Herman. <laughs> Listen, Junior. You better take a seat because I got some whale staggering news to lay on you. All I right, didn't lay know it on me. Stagger, but go ahead. Okay. First of all, my real name isn't Herman Toothrot. Really? What is it? I'll get to that. First, let me tell you how I ended up here on Monkey Island, with nothing but a busted accordion, most <laughs> of the clothes on my back, most of them. and a head full of broken memories. Is this going to take a while? I'm in kind of a hurry. Stow it, Blondie. This is important. <laughs> like yes, so sir. many stories, it began some 20 years ago in a bar on the other side of the world. I had been lured out of my peaceful retirement in the Caribbean by the thrill of a dangerous sailing regatta off the coast of Australia. Australia? Wait a minute. Hush up, kid. I'm telling a story here. Sorry. Anyhow, the night before the competition, I was stealing myself for the race with several pitchers of grog when I was joined at the bar by one of the other competitors. That looks An familiar. unhappy Australian tycoon with the unlikely name of Ozzy Mandro. No. Yes. The poor guy seemed so sad just because no one would do business with him anymore. Well, to cheer him up, I regaled him with stories of my adventures on the untamed Caribbean seas. So you were the one who told Ozzy about the lucrative development opportunities of the Caribbean? Yes, but that's not all. The next day, as I reached the race's halfway point, I'd already forgotten the grog-induced revelries of the night before. Suddenly, I found myself being rammed by another boat, pushed into a freakish whirlpool. It was none other than Ozzy. I 
hate it when that happens. Uh, why? It gets worse. Yipes. I hadn't just told Ozzy about the wonders of the Caribbean. I'd also told him about all of its terrible mm. voodoo secrets. Secrets that me. men would kill to possess. I told him about the gate to heck known as Big Whoop. I told him about the unbelievable lineage of the three-headed monkey. Worst of all, I told him about the ultimate insult, the voodoo talisman that could make mice out of men. Remind me to never tell you a secret. Strangely, the whirlpool didn't kill me. Instead, it dropped me and my shattered ship on the other side of the world. That's By the a time heck of a I had righted myself, I had no idea who I was or where I came from. I took the name Herman Toothrot after the remaining letters on my accordion. H T. H T. Wait a minute. You're not telling me that you're really. That's right. My real name is Horatio Torquemada Marley. But you can't be Governor Marley. I mean, everyone knows that H.T. Marley died over 20 years ago. Off the coast of Australia. In a boat race. Boat race. <laughs> Grandpa! Get your stinking hands off of me, you blamed octopus! But, sir, uh, we're family. See? I married your granddaughter, Elaine. Oh, that's just wonderful. I finally rid myself of 20 years of amnesia, and the first thing I learned is that my granddaughter has married the sorriest excuse for a pirate in the seven seas. Oh. Somebody get me a coconut so I can go back to being blissfully ignorant. I can I can arrange that. I've still got a coconut. All right, so that's a heck of a thing. So apparently this is uh, dear old granddad, uh, marooned here years and years ago. Well, I'm not picking that up. Okay, so I'm not able to talk to him. So let's go back to the monkey head. Now that we have uh, delved into the secrets of Herman Toothrot's disturbed and shattered psyche, we now know that he is in fact our wife's missing grandfather, who I don't know how old she's supposed to be, but I'm guessing he may have only known her when she was um. a very small child. Uh, it's been 20 years at this point. So, let's go to the giant monkey head and complete this ultimate insult. We have to put the banana picker back in his nose because Monkey Island is silly, people. And I think we're going to leave it there for this episode and continue on to the thrilling conclusion of our escape from Monkey Island in the next video. So go ahead and watch this monkey do its thing one last time with Monkey Nose. It's got a big old boogie. Get it! Oh, I don't remember doing frogs here. Oh, the three-headed monkeys also, I think, in the first, first. That you actually see him the first time in the cannibal village on this very island. So with that, we are going to continue on the quest to make the world's largest ultimate insult in the next video.